What's going on YouTube? This is the Dart Lord Destro. I'm about to make a video on how to import and export teams for all pro football 2K8. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to inform you all that there's a new editor, version of the editor that's out. It's version 1.7.2. Just came out yesterday, November 30th, 2017. And to, uh, to receive this copy of the editor, you must go to simhas.com and leave a $10 or more donation for our King Havo, and you will have a copy of the editor. Okay, now back to this. Now, what I'm going to show you is how to import the teams, actually export the teams from one file, and then import it to another. Um, this will be in real time. I'm not going to have any, you know, editing or anything. I'm just going to show you on how it's done. I might make a mistake here and there. Uh, but I'm going to show you step by step on how to change your or actually import a team from one uh, file to another. So here we go. Now, first and foremost, what you need to do is make sure all eight teams are created. Okay. Make sure all eight teams are created and save it on a flash drive and then have it go to your laptop with your flash drive. Okay. Now, next thing we're going to do, let's get rid of this for one moment. Okay, now we're at the editor. Okay, first thing you want to do is go to the file that you want the, want the team that you want to export. So, in this case, we're going to go to teams. Wherever your location is. So in this case, let's see, wherever you have your files located. Okay. So right here we got 9849ers, okay? Okay, just say no right now. Alrighty. Okay, now you want to go to 49ers to team right here. Now you want to go to the top left hand corner, go to file, go to export, go to current team, and then you know you can choose whatever you want to save it at. So I'm just going to go to my desktop. So hit OK. Now it says ex roster exported, and it tells you the directory, the location, and the name of the file. Remember, this file will always be the name, same name as your team and it's very important to remember for uh, for the importing process okay once you hit okay then it'll say the same thing but this time APF coaches dot I and I alrighty okay once you've done that you want to close this go to file open and go to your flash drive location Go through your steps till you find the roster file. Okay, roster.rise. Okay, rebuild roster file for offline mode. You want to hit yes. It'll basically ask you again, are you sure you hit yes? Because remember, this is for offline only. Okay. Now, we select the team. Okay. Now the team is called the Adams. Remember the team that I just exported were the 49ers. Before this step, you must go into team. You must go to team name. You must change the team name to exactly what you uh, exported. So you saw that I exported the 49ers. You must name the team the 49ers. It must be the exact identical name for your team. If not, this process will not work. Okay? So 49ers, okay, as you can see, the team name has been changed to 49ers, okay, let's go to players, okay, as you can see, they still got legend players, alrighty, now, here's the import process, go to file, go to import, roster, you go to where your location is for their, um, for that import, in this case, 49ers.txt, see it, click it, 
This will update current roster for players in text file. Only teams stated in the text file will be affected. Are you sure you wish to proceed? You hit yes. Updated. 42 total players. Okay. Now, the thing is programmed to automatically shut off. So, do you want to open up that roster file again that's located in your flash drive? Okay, go back to 49ers. As you can see, all the players were changed over. Okay? Now, of course, with my rosters, I didn't use facing all of them, so therefore, there's going to be little issues with it. So, all you got to do is you go to go back to King Havo's tutorial, his most recent vid, on how to have everyone have a, uh, a Legends face. You can use that towards uh, um, for your team, if you like. One more thing as well. Remember what I just did. All it did was just change the team information, just the players. And that is it. It did not change the uniform. It did not change anything else. So you have to go back in here and change abbreviations, change the name on the collar. You must give them the right uniform. Those things did not carry over. The only thing that carries over during this import process is just the team info. So that's about it. And also, this works for the same thing for all teams as well. How about just fix that recently in this newest version of the editor? To where now you can go into each and every team if you choose to. You just change the team name to exactly what's on that other file. Because you have to remember is that when you do, when it, when it tries to import, it's looking for that team name. So if in that case for 49ers, if you don't have 49ers changed over, it can't find it. Therefore, no players will be converted over. But since we named it 49ers, and as you saw a few minutes ago, you saw that all the players were changed. But once again, I like to stress, I like to remind you that all this other stuff does not change. You must change your uniforms. You must change the city. You must change the stadium name. You must change the abbreviations. The only thing we did was took players from one file on to another. Alrighty. This is Dark Lord Destra and Quest Concerns. I'm out. Talk to y'all later. Peace.